Hey guys, how's it going? It's set for me, and uh, this video is three years late, but here we have my electric recumbent trike that I built. go over with you guys the build itself um, all the components and um, show you some clips of it actually in action so if you come here closer the uh, this is the mo motor right here and this here is the controller as you can see on the controller there's four different speeds of assistance it goes eco tour speed and turbo and when you go higher and higher it basically gives you more power for the same amount of energy uh, that you use. There's also an odometer and a speed in miles per hour. Um, and also in the nighttime, you can't see it well right now, but there is a backlight. And the special thing about this particular kit is that it is based on a torque sensor instead of a cadence sensor. And what that means is that depending on how hard you're pedaling, that determines how much the motor is actually helping you. Um, a lot of other bikes, when, when you're building an electric bike, it's based on cadence. And what that means is all it cares is that you're pedaling the wheels and then the faster you pedal, that's how much the motor actually helps. But what feels more natural and what makes this kit a better kit is that it's based on torque. Meaning the harder you push, the more it actually assists and it feels a lot more natural. This uh, kit is fitted onto a KMX uh, recumbent trike. And this is basically the standard recumbent trike. The only components that were switched out were the, um, the pedals here in order to put the motor here. And then as you can see here, this is where I've actually um, installed the battery. And this battery is custom made. Um, the casing is something that I bought online and then uh, it's built up with 18650 cells. And this configuration is 10, uh, 10S6P, meaning it's a 36 volt system and uh, there's six cells in parallel, uh, of roughly about 15 amp hours of, of charge. This is the XLR plug right here, and that's how you charge up the battery, and there's an on-off switch here. And then on the other side, if you come around over here, there is a uh, keyhole, and this will allow you to lock the bike onto the trike, so that, uh, sorry, lock the battery onto the trike so that you can't take it out for a little bit of extra security. And so if I want to take this battery out, it's really simple. All I do is unlock it here and then I just pull up. And then this is actually removable. And so now with this removable, um, you could take this inside the house to charge it up. It has a little LED indicator here, which tells you how much battery is left inside the charge. Um, and uh, it's really easy because you can also take this and then move it onto a, a different bike uh, or electric bike that uh, you built. So very easy to uh, install back into the bike. It hooks on right here and then just pushes, push it push down. And then I just flip the switch and then one button here and it's ready to go. With all that being said, uh, this bike does go about uh, 20 something miles per hour. Uh, it is completely pedal assist. And what that means is that there is actually no throttle. The only thing that we have is this gear selector. This gear selector is for the um, seven, seven speed chain ring here in the back. And uh, there's, besides the controller over here, there's also a smaller controller. So it's a little bit better for ergonomics. Your hand uh, while you're riding is like this and you can easily switch between the modes using your thumb here. Um, this brake here is for the rear brakes. And then the other side has the front brakes which control uh, brakes to both front tires. What makes 
this electric recumbent trike really special is that it's really unique. Um, it started off as just a basic recumbent tricycle. Uh, KMX obviously is a really big manufacturer of recumbent tricycles and they basically the, make the best in the industry. And what I paired it up with, with, with was this Bafang system, which is basically uh, one of the top brands that you can use in terms of converting something to electric. So that's basically it for this video. I'm sorry that it took a couple of years to give you part two, um, but this has actually been built for a couple of years now and I've been using it. It's been a lot of fun to ride and um, I'm glad I'm finally able to make a video for you guys to see what it's like. If you guys have any questions about this build, I'm happy to answer them. Um, please feel free to leave your questions in the comments below or reach out to me. I'm Zed from me and I'll see you guys in the next one.